JSC Kuznetsov Russian, Pal Kuznikov is one of the leading Russian producers of aircraft engines, liquid propellant rocket engines as well as aeroderivative gas turbines and modular stations. The current joint stock company was established through the consolidation of several Samara-based aerospace engine companies, including JSC ND Kuznetsov SNTK, JSC Samara Design Bureau of Machine Building and JSC NPO Pavolsky of ET. Topic. History The company was established in 1912 as the Nome Factory of Moscow, after the French aircraft engine company Nome et Rhone which supplied the engine parts assembled by the plant. In 1925 it was renamed Frunz Factory 24, after Bolshevik leader Mikhail Frunz. The factory was evacuated to its current location in Samara in 1941. The Samara Frunz Engine Building Production Association was one of the principal aerospace engine production complexes in Russia, with six plants and 25,000 employees in the early 1990s. It has produced turbojet and turboprop engines for military and civil use, including blackjack and backfire bombers and two 154 transports. The NK-12M engine produced by Frunz is the most powerful turboprop in the world. Samara Frunz also produced engines for the Salyut spacecraft and for the Mir space station, re-established as the joint stock company Motorostroidal in 1994. It retained this denomination until 2010, when it was merged with several other Samara-based engine plants on the verge of bankruptcy. It then took the name of one of new its subsidiaries, Kuznetsov Design Bureau. Topic. Products The current production range of JSC Kuznetsov includes the NK-33 rocket engine, the Kuznetsov NK-32 aviation engine and the NK-37ST industrial engine. In 2016 the company announced plans to produce a modernized version of its NK-32 engine by the end of the year. Products The Kuznetsov Bureau first became notable for producing the monstrous Kuznetsov NK-12 turboprop engine that powered the Tupolev Tu-95 bomber beginning in 1952 as a development of the Junkers 0022 engine. The new engine eventually generated about 15,000 horsepower, 11.2 megawatts, far more than any Western turboprop engine of its time, and it was also used in the large Antonov and 22 Soviet Air Force transport. Kuznetsov also produced the Kuznetsov NK-8 turbofan engine in the 90 kN class that powered the Ilyushin Il-62 and Tupolev Tu-154 airliners. This engine was next upgraded to become the about 125 kN Kuznetsov NK-86 engine that powered the Ilyushin Il-86 aircraft. This bureau also produced the Kuznetsov NK-144 afterburning turbofan engine. This engine powered the early models of the Tupolev Tu-144 SST. The Kuznetsov Design Bureau also produced the Kuznetsov NK-87 turbofan engine that was used on the Loon class Akranoplan. Only one such aircraft has ever been produced. Kuznetsov's most powerful aviation engine is the Kuznetsov NK-321 that propels the Tupolev Tu-160 bomber and was formerly used in the later models of the Tu-144 supersonic transport, an SST that is now obsolete and no longer flown. The NK-321 produced a maximum of about 245 lbf) of thrust. Topic. Aircraft engines The Kuznetsov Bureau first became notable for producing the monstrous Kuznetsov NK-12 turboprop engine that powered the Tupolev Tu-95 bomber beginning in 1952 as a development of the Junkers 022 engine. The new engine eventually generated about 15,000 horsepower, 11.2 megawatts, far more than any Western turboprop engine of its time, and it was also used in the large Antonov and 22 Soviet Air Force transport. 
Kuznetsov also produced the Kuznetsov NK8 turbofan engine in the 20,000 pound thrust, 90 kilonewton thrust class that powered the Ilyushin Il-62 and Tupolev Tu-154 airliners. This engine was next upgraded to become the about 28,000 pound, 125 kilonewton Kuznetsov NK86 engine that powered the Ilyushin Il-86 aircraft. This bureau also produced the Kuznetsov NK-144 afterburning turbofan engine. This engine powered the early models of the Tupolev Tu-144 SST. The Kuznetsov Design Bureau also produced the Kuznetsov NK-87 turbofan engine that was used on the Loon class Akranoplan. Only one such aircraft has ever been produced. Kuznetsov's most powerful aviation engine is the Kuznetsov NK-321 that propels the Tupolev Tu-160 bomber and was formerly used in the later models of the Tu-144 supersonic transport, an SST that is now obsolete and no longer flown. The NK-321 produced a maximum of about 55,000 pounds kilonewtons of thrust. Kuznetsov aircraft engines include, Junkers Jumo 004 Junkers Jumo 004 Road 10 Turbojet Licensed production of the Ju 004 Kuznetsov Road 20 Turbojet Licensed production of the BMW 003 Powered the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-9 Kuznetsov TV-022 turboprop Turboventovi TV-12 Tribework TW-12 Reproduction of the Junkers Jumo 022 Kuznetsov TV-2 turboprop Kuznetsov NK-4 turboprop Powered the early Antonov N-10 and Ilyushin Il-18 Kuznetsov NK-6 afterburning turbofan Powered the Tupolev Tu-95 LL and was considered for the Tupolev Tu-22 and Tupolev Tu-123, but this never happened. Kuznetsov NK-8 turbofan. Powers the original Ilyushin Il-62, A-90 Orleanic Akranoplan and the Tupolev Tu-154 A and B models. Kuznetsov NK-12 Contra rotating turboprop. Powers all the versions of the Tupolev Tu-95, Tupolev Tu-114, Tupolev Tu-126, Antonov N-22 and the A-90 Orleanic Akranoplan. Initially designated as TV-12, but was renamed to NK-12 in honor of the company's founder, Nikolai Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov NK-14 nuclear-powered engine. Powered the inboard engine of the prototype Tupolev Tu-119 nuclear-powered aircraft, a modified version of the Tupolev Tu-95. Kuznetsov NK-16 turboprop. Was to power the Tupolev Tu-96. Kuznetsov NK-22 afterburning turbofan. Powered the Tupolev Tu-22 MO, M1 and M2. Kuznetsov NK-25 afterburning turbofan. Developed from the NK-22, powers the Tupolev Tu-22M3. Kuznetsov NK-26 turboprop. Intended for Akranoplans. Kuznetsov NK-32 afterburning turbofan. Powers the Tupolev Tu-160 and the later models of the Tupolev Tu-144, NK-321, 136 kilonewtons cruise 245 kilonewtons, NK-321M 280 to 300 350ths of a kilonewton, max 386. NK-3202 for an 124 Tu-160 and POC DA. NK 23D HBP turbofan for alternative of AI 18T Lataryov D18 within 230,250 kN thrust. Kuznetsov PD 30, a geared high bypass turbofan variant derived from the NK 32 300 kN 328 350ths Kuznetsov NK 34 turbojet. Intended for seaplanes. NK-44 turbofan. 400 kilonewtons, max up to 450. Kuznetsov NK-56 turbofan. Was to power the Ilyushin Il-96, but was cancelled in favor of the Avedvigatel PS-90. 
NK64 turbofan. 350 kN intended for two 204. Kuznetsov NK65 turbofan. Intended for POC DA. NK74 270 kN engine for a modified 2160 for extended range. Kuznetsov NK86 turbofan. Upgraded version of the NK8 powers the Ilyushin Il 86. Kuznetsov NK87 turbofan. Based on the NK86, powers the Loon class Akranoplan. Kuznetsov NK88 experimental turbofan. Powers the Tupolev Tu 155 hydrogen and LNG powered aircraft. Kuznetsov NK89 experimental turbofan. Was to power the unbuilt Tupolev Tu 156. Kuznetsov NK92 turbofan. Modified to NK93 further on. 220 to Kuznetsov NK93 prop fan. Projected to power the IL-96, 2204, and 2330. Kuznetsov NK-114 Akranoplanes and aircraft engines Kuznetsov NK-116 Bereev B-2500 Neptune engine Kuznetsov NK-144 Afterburning turbofan. Powered the early models of the Tupolev Tu-144 supersonic transport. Kuznetsov NK-444 Projectual NK-256 Projectual Engine with Takeoff Thrust up to 200-220 kN NK-301 Industrial gas turbines Kuznetsov industrial gas turbines include NK-12 Street. Derivative of NK-12 turboprop. Serial production started in 1974. The engine is designed for gas pipelines. NK-16 Street. Derivative of NK-8 turbofan. Serial production started in 1982. Used in gas compressor stations. NK-17ST, NK-18 Street. Uprated versions of NK-16 Street. NK-36 Street. 25 MW derivative of NK-32 turbofan. Development tests conducted in 1990. NK-37. 25 MW modification of NK-36ST. NK-38 Street. 16 MW derivative of NK-93 propfan. Never flown. Development tests conducted in 1995. Serial production started in 1998. Topic. Rocket engines In 1959, Sergei Korolyov ordered a new design of rocket engine from the Kuznetsov Bureau for the Global Rocket 1 GR1 Fractional Orbital Bombardment System FOBS Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, which was developed but never deployed. The result was the NK-9, one of the first staged combustion cycle rocket engines. The design was developed by Kuznetsov into the NK-15 and NK-33 engines in the 1960s, and claimed them to be the highest performance rocket engines ever built, which were to propel the N-1 lunar rocket. One that was never successfully launched. As of 2011, the aging NK-33 remains the most efficient in terms of thrust-to-mass ratio LOX, kerosene rocket engine ever created. The Orbital Sciences Antares Light to Medium Lift Launcher has two modified NK-33 in its first stage, a solid second stage and a hypergolic orbit stage. The NK-33s are first imported from Russia to the United States and then modified into Aerojet AJ-26s, which involves removing some harnessing, adding U.S. electronics, qualifying it for U.S. propellants, and modifying the steering system. The Antares rocket was successfully launched from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility on April 21, 2013. This marked the first successful launch of the NK-33 Heritage engines built in early 1970s. Kuznetsov rocket engines include 
Kuznetsov oxygen rich stage combustion RP 1, LOX rocket engine family. Including NK 9, NK 15, NK 19, NK 21, NK 33, NK 39, NK 43. The original version was designed to power an ICBM. In the 1970s some improved versions were built for the ill-fated Soviet lunar mission. More than 150 NK-33 engines were produced and stored in a warehouse ever since, with 36 engines having been sold to Aerojet General in the 1990s. Two NK-33-derived engines Aerojet AJ-26 are used in the first stage of the Antares rocket developed by Orbital Sciences Corporation. The Antares rocket was successfully launched from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility on April 21, 2013. This marked the first successful launch of the NK-33 Heritage engines built in the early 1970s. TSSKB Progress also uses the stockpile NK-33 as the first stage engine of the lightweight version of the Soyuz rocket family, the Soyuz 21V. RD-107A rocket engine. Powers the boosters of the R-7 family including the Soyuz FG and Soyuz 2. RD-108A rocket engine. Powers the core stage of the R-7 family including the Soyuz FG and Soyuz 2.